Alright, hey everyone, Wanderbot here, and welcome to Valkyria Chronicles 4. I've never played the first one, I always wanted to, but it was a daunting task, 30 hours long, and that's a little tough to fit into your schedule randomly, and I was gonna kind of work it on, work on it this year. I'm like, yeah, Valkyria Chronicles 4 is a little ways off, and then I get an email from Sega being like, hey, you want to cover Valkyria Chronicles 4? It comes out in two weeks, and I'm like, no! Uh, but, so I've been sitting on it a week, uh, it'll be out on the 27th? It's the 25th. Okay, so yeah, a week from today. Anyway, so we're going to do normal difficulty. The day our hometown burned. That was the day we enlisted. At last, we had something to believe in. Something worth fighting for. None of us yet knew. We couldn't foresee what this war would cost us. It was a battlefield. But it was where we grew up. For the record, I should mention, I don't think there's any plot continuity between these games, so you don't have to worry about not seeing the previous three. They're just separate titles entirely. Doggo! Wind out of the northeast, clear skies, and... Uh, 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 nap time's over. Come on, Raz. I wasn't napping, just resting my eyes. You gotta relax, man. You are way too freaking tense. Your hands are shaking. <laughs> so sack up, Commander. It's about time we get ready to roll out. Let's show those imps what's coming to them. Yeah. <clears throat> A shift in the wind. There. Huh? You getting those wind whispers again? Imperial's incoming! All right, boys, it's go time! Squad E, do you read me? Squad E! This is Commander Claude Wallace. Squad E! The Imperial forces are on the move, heading for your position! Ready to engage. Do not let them break through to the front line. We're counting on you. Roger that, over. Good luck, Squaddy. They won't advance until they're done shelling the area. We should have time to prepare. Kai, take a group to that southern hill and slow down their left flank. Raz, take two soldiers east and make some noise for me. You got that? Gotcha. Keep up or get left behind. At your command. Poffin, roll out. Squaddy, ready to engage. All right. Remember your training. We can do this. Eliminate all Imperial hostiles. Let's stop their advance. Squad E, move out! All set, Raz? Just say the word, boss. I'm locked, loaded, and in freaking invincible Okay. First, we'll see how they respond to some infantry. Squad E, move out! Okay. Looks like everyone's in position. Finally. It's time. I'm their commander. It's up to me to get everyone out alive. Concentrate. Remember your training. We can do this. I can do this. Okay, so, uh, for starters, I should probably mention these things before we even get through the tutorial. One, I've never played one of these games before. I don't know how they play. I don't know any good meta strategies, and it's going to take me a little while to learn. And I also tend to pick kind of weird strategies, so please don't get too mad at me 
for trying to come up with weird cheese tactics. Ow. Crap. All right. Okay. Uh, anyway. So, um... The other thing to mention is just, uh... Actually, I don't know. even know what I was going to mention. Let's just uh, continue with the tutorial. Okay, so when combat starts, you'll see a map of the area and your unit's positions. This is referred to as command mode. Here, you'll select the unit you'd like to move based on the terrain and their respective position in the enemy. Move the cursor on the rise with WSD or jump to him with that and switch to action mode. I mean, I can't... I can't click? Uh, oh, God. Oh, well... Ugh, this is bad. I... Yes, I'm going to need to play this with a controller because, oof. Okay, so this is Raz? Or this is Raz? Or who's Raz? Raz, thank you. I was confused about that. Okay, action mode. Selecting a unit switches them to action mode where they can move and attack. Move a unit in action mode with left stick. AP Gate will slowly deplete while a unit is in motion. Once they run of AP, they will be unable to move. Order Raz to move towards the sandbags. Got enemies here. Attacking. Now that they've moved into position, it's time to attack. Press that to uh, enter. Uh, press right bumper to in while well, in action mode, or right click to enter target mode. Oh nope, never mind. I'm gonna do this with keyboard and mouse. It'll just take some uh, time to figure it out. But I'm so much better at aiming with mouse. Okay, move uh, crosshairs with that, and then I can swap targets with left and right. Press that to attack. If they survive, they might counterattack. So make every shot count. Wide open. Oh, so accuracy might not matter. Ending actions. Yeah. Uh, troops can only attack once per action. Once a unit is done moving and attacking, at the end of action, return to command mode. Press X to end their action. Oh. Okay, so it looks like I don't actually have to be accurate with this, I just have to get it over. Uh, so that can end the action even if they have left it for AP or is not yet attacked. Pressing B can also end your action, in which case a confirmation prompt will appear. Okay, either or. Can I, can I crouch? Thank you. I don't know why they'd have me standing there. Damn it, these assholes are in my way. I can't break through this. Why not? You're invincible, right? Are you really getting tripped up over some common foot soldiers? Why don't you ever stop and think? Oh, shut up. Just hurry and take them out, will ya? Thought you'd never ask. This won't take long. Kai is deployed. Okay. Moving out. Snipers! The sniper class specializes in shooting down enemies from afar. Zoom in and out during target mode by using that up and down or zooming in and out. Use the scope to line up headshots. Oh, no. I guess we do. Do we have any ammo? Actually, nope, I don't want to end my current action. Return fire. Hey, can I crouch down? Watch them run home with their tails between their legs. What's up? Hello. Admittedly, putting all my characters in the exact same place is kind of bad. Okay, so I have a little bit more CP. Are these enemies or... No, no, no. There's somebody else. Let's... Can I keep controlling her? Kai. So, CP, I can move a singular character repeatedly? That's kind of helpful. Oh, God. Well, that's not helpful. I don't know if there's better uh, cover. Oh well, CP and ending phases. Selecting a unit uh, in command mode uses up one command point. CP reflects the number of times you can control a unit per player phase. When your CP reaches zero, the player phase ends and the enemy phase begins. 
Okay, so end the player phase with leftover CP. Mindful of your positions before the enemy phase begins. I wonder if you can bank CP. Probably not. I wonder if there's an Overwatch system. Probably not. But this is neat. I like this so far. I always wanted to play the previous one. I love I love tactical RPGs. They're some of my favorite games. Oh. There we go. About time, Claude. Yeah, I know. Soldiers, forward. Now's our chance to take the offensive. Okay, backup has arrived. CP and consecutive actions. CP are replenished at the start of each player's phase. Ah, sorry. CP can, used, uh, can be used on the same unit multiple times in a row. This is useful for cutting into enemy lines, hurrying past dangerous terrain, or finishing off a tenacious enemy. That said, they'll tire out and start each consecutive action with less AP than the last. CP that goes unused during one phase will, however, roll over onto the next. Okay, there we go. However you choose to manage your CP will determine the fate of your squad. Okay, so might have been worth it to bank. Okay, so who do we who do we have? Unit list. Curtis, Nico, Razaiga, and she's the only sniper. Well, who do we even have left? It's just these two guys? I mean I'm curious about Curtis. Moving out. Sandbags! Provide cover. Move behind a sandbag and press that to crouch uh, when that appears to take cover. Crouching makes a unit harder to hit and negates extra headshot damage. Ah, take cover behind sandbags as you move. When this war's over, I'm heading back to my quiet little hometown. Okay, aiming weak points. Critical hits such as headshots deal greater damage than normal. Use that to quickly aim if using a controller, blah blah blah. Shots fired will generally land within the circle marked on your line of sight. Increase your chance of landing a hit by lining up your shots so that the target is well within the circle. Two kills shows how many shots must connect to eliminate the target. This number indicates whether your shot will reach the enemy or if you're aiming at a weak point. Awkward. Yeah, the sensitivity while aiming is real low. Doesn't look like there's... Timing, though. Did I even hit him? Doesn't look like it. Well, that's unfortunate. Okay, so in that case... Moving out. Let's just start sniping. Freaking... Never mind. And that sucks. Okay, hit Raz. Never mind, so there's friendly fire in this game. We'll keep that in mind. I'm learning things. Poorly. Hey Raz! Get out of the way. You're an inconvenience as my sniper. And I'm a moron. So he's much more accurate than the other guy. But yeah, friendly sniper fire at point blank range. Not my proudest moment, but I'm learning. I mean, some of these games don't have friendly fire at all, so it's grab bag on whether or not this one did. Now advancing. It's not really built for keyboard and mouse, I can say that much. It's playing like the game plays well, as it stands. Missed completely. So I don't actually have to be nearly that accurate. That's kind of annoying. You'd think you'd be smart enough to duck. Yeah, I'm kind of surprised that's not a thing. Okay, and she's out of ammo, so this is not... This is not going pretty for me. However, these guys, I think, are stupid.
Yeah, so these guys are just designed to die. Damn it. Yeah, they barely even do damage. I understand. Okay, so she's out of ammo. Or she was out of ammo. Okay, well, let's keep using our sniper, even though it hasn't been panning out well for me. There, there we go. Too easy. Pretty good. I love the visual style for this. It's uh, the storybookiness combined with the really cool, like, uh. Busting out the tanks, huh? This one's all yours, Claude. It's our turn now. Fire up the engine, Miles. Yes, sir. Okay, the Hoffman's moving out. Destroy the enemy tank. All right, tutorial tanks. Tanks boast firepower and endurance far beyond that of foot soldiers. They can withstand gunfire from enemy infantry, making them a solid wall for your soldiers to use as cover. Tanks can destroy objects with a red X on the command mode map, either by firing a cannon or driving into them. Tanks cannot fit into narrow passages, so advance with cough with infantry in such pa places. Blah, I can't English right now. All right, so we're tanking. Where's the, uh, where's the other? Oh, the other tank's just right there. All right. I wonder if I can run over my own dude. Okay, I hope not, out. but it's very possible. No, Francis. Oh, you. Watch them run home with their tails between their legs. Well, this is awkward. How does the Federation side look? Okay, tank warfare. Tanks have three methods of attack, armor-piercing, mortar, and mounted machine gun. Armor-piercing are effective against tanks under their vehicles. Mortars hit a broad area with a rag knight blast ideal against infantry. Mortars travel in an arc. Aim for the center of multiple foes to maximize firepower and preserve limited ammo. Machine gun is designed to strike, uh, designed to strike foes who are too close for the mortar and to intercept incoming enemies. Press 2 to switch weapons. Okay. So that's how the mortar works. That look oh it, it can be moved it's just real awkward with the mouse and the machine gun as usual Fire! tang well we did a fair amount of damage to it uh, and we're good and current action and then try again okay, we got the CP out. we got enough CP for this Tank's weak points. The glowing blue radiator played at the tank's rear is its weak point, or even standard bullets can deal damage. Try and get behind enemy tanks for a chance to take them down while being careful not to expose your own rear to hostile fire. These things climb hills? The answer is not very well. No. Make a plan, then act on it. Hello! How's it going, tank? Alright, and let's do it again. It'd be kind of nice if you could press a button to just refill uh, whatever character's current AP there is. Or CP. My bad. And, uh, hmm. Point blank right to the booter! And there's nothing left. The men inside, paste. Dust on the wind. Tutorial complete, yay. Anyone else want to try? Squatty don't take shit from nobody. Claude knows what I'm... Oh, you okay? The flowers. Uh... Oh, yeah. They didn't stand a chance. Come on, man. You're supposed to be commander of the Ranger Corps. A commander still has a heart. Same as a foot soldier. Rank doesn't make this any less painful to see. Oh, but crying over flowers? Even little girls have bigger balls these days. Maybe. But what matters is that their hearts... Alright, I get it. Power of the heart, blah, blah, blah. 
Look, just go turn in your report already, will ya? Can't go get sloshed if we're stuck here on standby. Good point. I'll head to the command center. Hey, you do that. And tell the brass to send us tougher imps to fight next time, yeah? Yeah, there's nothing left. Poof. I mean, obviously, they can't do that, but still. Okay, so three turns, A rank, EXP, repair costs. That's something to keep in mind. Takes a little bit to kind of understand what the heck is even going on here. So we get ranked. I wonder if we can redo missions or do other stuff. Prologue. Operation Northern Cross. This, okay. Can somebody um, find the voice actor for the narrator for... It's this. He's also the commander in um, Monster Hunter World. I think it's the same guy. He's in everything nowadays. Like, honestly, he's in more things than... Um, I, I think it's the same guy. But he's in, like, this stupid amount of games. It's It's great. Anyway, new episode has been added. Book mode. Discover the untold story of the Second European War by viewing this chronicle. Select new episode to continue. Saving. Open the menu by pressing escape. Save to record your progress. Anything that anything can happen out there. Remember to save before, during, and after any combat operations. Sir, First Lieutenant Claude Wallace reporting in. Good work out there. Glad you're still in one piece. We're just about to go over our next operation. You're late. I'm sure you know standard procedure is to report immediately after a mission. Oh, Minerva. You're reporting too? That's lieutenant to you, Claude. Don't get smart with me just because we share rank. I've got seniority. <clears throat> Sorry, Lieutenant Minerva Victor. <laughs> well, let's get started. Minerva, give us a situation report. Yes, sir. Three months have passed since we went to war. I won't sugarcoat it. They're steamrolling us. By this point, a third of our territory is under Imperial control. This is officially a crisis. If it's that bad already, we won't even be able to sustain a war effort. You're right. And the Empire's only gaining momentum. If this draws out much longer... The Federation's finished. If we fall, that's it for Europa. Nobody else could stand against them. The Empire would take total control. It'd be a fascist continent ruled with an iron fist. We can't let that happen. Europa's future depends on us. Which brings us to now. The top brass finally got off their seats and sent us a plan. A counterattack that can turn the war around in one fell swoop, ready to be put into action. What are the orders? We put all our force into one strike. Break through their defenses and hit them where they'll hurt most. Soldiers, supplies. We'll use all reserves we have to make a final push and capture one crucial enemy base. And we lucky few of the 32nd Armored Ranger Battalion have been handpicked as the vanguard. Couldn't ask for a better mission, sir. Which enemy base are we targeting? Think bigger. We take this base, and we take their will to fight. But how could any one target mean that much to... Wait, you don't mean... You always were a clever boy, Claude. I think you've got it. Our target is the Imperial capital of Schwarzgrad. Let's fight back! Operation Northern Cross. The year was 1935 EC. Two great powers vied to control the continent of Europa. In the east, the sun rose over the autocratic East European Imperial Alliance, a dictatorship known as the Empire. In the West, a network of loosely allied democracies banded together to form the Atlantic Federation. Both powers depended on a precious mineral 
Ragnite, for their prosperity. Its growing scarcity leading inevitably to war. With its overwhelming military might, the Empire captured one nation after another. While the Federation struggled to maintain unity, every battle driving them further back against the wall. Three months have passed. With seven-tenths of Europa falling to the Imperial War Machine, the Federation places all its hope in a desperate counterattack. Operation Northern Cross. Six million soldiers fought in this campaign. It claimed more lives than any other in the Second European War. Federation historians call it the Eastern Theater, but the Empire knows it as the War for the Motherland. Forward, soldiers! This is the battle you've been training for! Operation Northern Cross begins now! We'll wipe those Imperials clear off the face of Europa! Our time has come! Forward, to victory! Countless soldiers fought and died on those fields, struggling to make their ideals a reality. Ordinary people thrust into extraordinary circumstances, fighting in the hopes that they would see a brighter future. What follows here is a record of those brave warriors, a record of that battle against the dark. Based on the diary of one Claude Wallace, the commander of the Federation's Gallian Squad, Eve, 